Hello, this is the Cambridge English Starters Listening Practice Test 1. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Here's a photo of my class. It's a good photo. I can see your teacher at the front of the class. Yes, and in front of her, you can see my friend, Dan. He is listening to music. Yes. He really likes music. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. And who is that next to Dan? That's Nick. Why is he drawing an elephant? There's a baby elephant at the zoo. He loves it. He's very good at drawing. Two. And you can see Jill at the door. She's got long hair. I see she's got a book in her hand. Does she like to read? No, not really. Three. Where is your friend, Sam? You can see him sitting near the window. Oh yes, I see him. He's wearing a blue t-shirt and white shorts. That's his favourite blue t-shirt. Four. I can see a girl wearing a baseball cap. What's her name? The girl wearing glasses. Yes, that's right. Who is she? That's my friend Kim. Five. Who is the girl wearing a skirt and sweater? The girl sitting next to Kim. That's Sue. Is she writing a story? Yes, she writes lots of stories. They're fun to read. Now listen to part one again. One. And who is that next to Dan? That's Nick. Why is he drawing an elephant? There's a baby elephant at the zoo. He loves it. He's very good at drawing. Two. And you can see Jill at the door. She's got long hair. I see she's got a book in her hand. Does she like to read? No, not really. Three. Where is your friend, Sam? You can see him sitting near the window. Oh yes, I see him. He's wearing a blue t-shirt and white shorts. That's his favourite blue t-shirt. Four. I can see a girl wearing a baseball cap. What's her name? The girl wearing glasses. Yes, that's right. Who is she? That's my friend Kim. Five. Who is the girl wearing a skirt and sweater? 
The girl sitting next to Kim? That's Sue. Is she writing a story? Yes, she writes lots of stories. They're fun to read. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the picture. Listen and write a name or a number. There are two examples. What is your name? I'm Anita. Do you spell that A N I T A? Yes, that's right. How many children are there in your class, Anita? Seven. Seven children? Yes, that's right. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. How many friends have you got, Anita? I've got three friends. Three friends? That's right. I really like them. Two. Who is your favorite friend, Anita? Her name's Kelly. Is that K E L L Y? Yes, that's right. Three. Now, Anita, what number? Is your house? It's number two. Number two? Yes. Four. Now, Anita, what street do you live on? I live on Oak Street. Oh, do you spell that O A K? Yes, that's right. Five. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a fish. What is its name? I call her Katie. Is that K A T I E? Yes, that's right. Now listen to part two again. One. How many friends have you got, Anita? I've got three friends. Three friends. That's right. I really like them. Two. Who is your favorite friend, Anita? Her name's Kelly. Is that K E L L Y? Yes, that's right. Three. Now, Anita, what number is your house? It's number two. Number two? Yes. Four. Now, Anita, what street do you live on? I live on Oak Street. Oh, do you spell that O A K? Yes, that's right. Five. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a fish. What is its name? I call her Katie. Is that 
K-A-T-I-E? Yes, that's right. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now listen and look. There is one example. What does Mary's brother like to play? Where is your brother, Mary? Is he playing football? No, he doesn't like football. He's over there playing basketball with his friends. Is he very good? Yes, he's very good at basketball. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where is Mary going today? Where are you going, Mary? To the shops? To the beach? No, I'm going to the playground. Well, the playground's fun too. Two. Which is Mary's father's car? Which is your father's car? Is it the red one? Yes, it's red. Oh, I see it. The small red car. No, it's the big red one. Three. Who is Mary's friend? Now, Mary, who is your friend? Is she wearing yellow today? Yes, that's her favourite colour. So, is she the one in the yellow shirt? No, she's wearing a yellow dress. Oh, I see her. Four. Which one is Mary's bedroom? So, Mary, do you like your bedroom? Yes, I do. It has a bed and a desk. Is there a TV on the desk? No, I have a computer on my desk. Five. Which one is Mary's class? Is this a picture of your class? Yes, there are four boys and three girls. Where's the teacher? Oh, she isn't there. Now listen to part three again. One. Where is Mary going today? Where are you going, Mary? To the shops? To the beach? No, I'm going to the playground. Well, the playground's fun too. Two. Which is Mary's father's car? Which is your father's car? Is it the red one? Yes, it's red. Oh, I see it. The small red car. No, it's the big red one. Three. Who is Mary's friend? Now, Mary, who is your friend? Is she wearing yellow today? Yes, that's her favourite colour. So, is she the one in the yellow shirt? No. She's wearing a yellow dress. Oh, I see her. Four. Which one is Mary's bedroom? So, Mary, do you like your bedroom? Yes, I do. It has a bed and a desk. Is there a TV on the desk? No, I have a computer on my desk.
Five. Which one is Mary's class? Is this a picture of your class? Yes, there are four boys and three girls. Where's the teacher? Oh, she isn't there. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. What a lovely picture of a park. Can I colour it? Of course. Colour the flower on the tall girl's dress red. The flower on the tall girl's dress? Yes, that's right. OK, I'm colouring it red. Can you see the red flower? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. What can I colour now? Do you see the tree? Can you colour the flower under the tree orange? An orange flower? Yes, why not? OK. Two. Do you see the boy flying the kite? Yes, I see him. It looks fun. Colour the flower on the kite green. OK, I like green. Three. Can you see the boy? The one painting the picture of a flower? Yes, that's him. Colour the flower yellow. All right, yellow flowers are pretty. Four. What can I colour now? The flower on the boat. Colour the flower on the boat blue. OK, I'm colouring it blue. Five. Now, can you see the two dogs? Sure, one is big and one is small. That's right. Colour the flower between the two dogs brown. Right, the flower between the two dogs is brown. Now listen to part four again. One. What can I colour now? Do you see the tree? Can you colour the flower under the tree orange? An orange flower? Yes, why not? OK. Two. Do you see the boy flying the kite? Yes, I see him. It looks fun. Colour the flower on the kite green. OK, I like green. Three. Can you see the boy? The one painting the picture of a flower? Yes, that's him. Colour the flower yellow. 
All right, yellow flowers are pretty. Four. What can I colour now? The flower on the boat. Colour the flower on the boat blue. OK, I'm colouring it blue. Five. Now, can you see the two dogs? Sure, one is big and one is small. That's right. Colour the flower between the two dogs brown. Right, the flower between the two dogs is brown. That is the end of the starter's listening test.